Good day, good people. Gesticular here. And again, I'm ready to embark on adventures. And I stepped outside my front door, and what did I see? But over there, do you see those two wonderful creatures? No, you don't know what they are. Well, welcome to my world. Oh, uh, and welcome to Lawnmower. Uh, he showed up. Uh, when uh, I wasn't looking the other day, and, well, I promptly recruited him to help me with berries and whatnot. But, let us see what we have here. We have nothing until I activate <gasps> level 108, female, and her partner, level 30, male. Well, they would greatly help us uh, get metal and stone. Why is this important to us? <gasps> Look! But a third! Let us see, for I think I would wish to take just one. Mm, male 72. He does look very formidable. Uh, uh oh, 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 I think. What? Another! <gasps> Level 168. Yes, he shall be ours. Ah. So as we come over here, ah, we have our nice little place to get a drink, which I think I will do. You know, this reminds me of a joke. Have you heard the one about the three holes in the ground? No? Well, well, well. <laughs> get it? That was already the joke. Well, well, well. It's a hole in the ground. Oh. Yes, so here we have our wonderful new well, which we've made as well. <laughs> a well as well! Well, that's a well well, isn't it well? It's good well to be- Oh, enough wells. Back to the matter at hand. Um, yes, we have, with the help of a lawnmower, been able to get lots of berries with which we can put lovely creatures like this to sleep. So I think that is what we shall attempt to do right now. Uh, he certainly will not be too pleased about it, but I think I am uh, much faster on my feet than this uh, lovely thorny creature. I hope, at least. I'm also not sure uh, what it will take to put him to sleep, but I trust not all too much. I think we can play with him in our front yard. And I was beginning to say, yes, uh, the reason I'm interested in taming such a beast is because if I am unable to find a court in which to be a court jester, I shall very well have to build my own court. Yes, and I do believe... Uh-oh. We have company. And I do believe this will be a great place uh, to, uh, in to place a castle. Wonderful views. And, um, uh, wonderful people to play with. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, I forgot to, uh, to, to, to introduce you to, to Shirley as well while we're playing. Oh, wrong way. Oh, oh, ouch. Uh, yes, I just want to say, no, no, no time for Shirley introductions. <gasps> oh, I'm naked. Um, yep, I'm naked. Uh, so Shirley wanted to say hi. Hi, Shirley. Uh, back to business. Oh, my goodness. Nakedness. Not good at all. I mean, well, I'm a jester, so I guess nudity can be funny. Especially when it concerns me. Um, we have to be careful because I do believe Lawnmower is... Uh, oh. I thought this would be a walk in a park. <laughs> it is indeed no such thing. Uh, there must be a joke about walks in the parks. I'll have to do some research. Oh, I do believe he's turning tail. Which means he is soon to be mine. I now have to deal with his brother here. Do sleep, my friend. I would greatly appreciate your sleep. Um, yeah, sleeping now would be good. Before that guy comes and gets me. No, don't go off the edge. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Um, I say I do. I do hate to do this. This is a lovely-looking Ankleo. Uh, is it gonna fall off the edge? Ah, maybe. Good. It's off the edge. Goodbye. Problem solved. Oh my. <laughs> so I think I will be repairing my clothing as I stand. Oh, I hope I have enough material. <laughs> that was uh, uh, truly unexpected. But yes, such is life here on this very strange island of Ragnarok. 
so. Ah, so, yeah, so as I was saying, I might then indeed have to build my own castle. And then I will build something that they will all come to see. For I will make the greatest theater where everyone can come and enjoy my great jokes. Um, uh, oh, yeah. In any case, um, uh, sorry. Excuse my nudity, uh, but Shirley. Now you can say hi, Shirley. Are you done saying hi, Shirley? Good. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so my clown face needs a shave. And what happened to my shoulder here? That looks almost like I got a heart tattoo. But no, I do not believe that is what happened. And on my arm. Did I fall asleep last night and somebody came over and drew on me? Ah, oh, I tell you. Let's go ahead and put some clothes back on. For what is a jester without his costume? Uh, yeah. No, there we go. Yeah, that's better. Uh, and uh, we have plenty of berries. Um, I'm not sure what this beast prefers, to be honest. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of everything and uh, see what it eats. So we have red, and yellow, and blue. And I even have some vegetables. It could be uh, that it enjoys vegetables. Uh, no, the vegetables were in there too. Uh, forgive me. Gesticular is sometimes a little bit absent-minded. Only a little bit, mind you, but... Ah. So I had not intended on uh, building up such a, how shall I say, cum, what is a good word? Hmm, a zoo? A zoo of uh, a bestiary, yes. I had not intended to build such a bestiary. Oh, it likes carrots above all. Hmm, but uh, it will serve me well, I guess, if I do indeed uh, live here a little bit longer. So this hut will have to give way, of course, to a much greater castle and keep. And I do look forward to that. So uh, while you are away, I have gone ahead and somewhat finished up my greenhouse. So it is uh, here with all the plots. However, I've not uh, planted anything because I am in need of some way to turn all of this poop into compost uh, to better grow plants. This will be my lovely outhouse. I figure in the morning I'll have a great view as I sit here and uh, do my business. Do? <laughs> do? Do do? Oh, no. Uh, I, I must spend more time at my joke table, I do say. In any case, uh, that was pretty much the quick tour for now. I think you have seen everything else, and I will bring you back once we have our new Anklio ready to go. Well, we're back, and uh, yeah, this little guy is a little over halfway, but it'll be getting dark soon, so I thought I'd bring you back before it got dark, uh, just to say, look at this guy, he's so big. I mean, and you see, we saw, as we, as we saw, as we, oh, have another bite, yes. As we saw, he delivers quite a punch, so I believe this young gentleman will be called Punchline, yes, so Punchline will be joining us very soon, and uh, since he's so big, it did make me think of another little joke I wanted to tell. And this joke uh, involves a little bit of personification, if so, allow me if I were to say to you, what did the mother buffalo say when her boy left for college? What you ask? Pray tell, you say? Allow me to remove my mask for better effect. Oh, I do need a shave first. But however, you do now at least see my clown face as I tell you. What did the mother buffalo say to her son as he went away to college? I, oh, I ruined the joke again already. Let me try one more time. What did the mother buffalo say when her boy left for college? Bye, son. <laughs> Bye, son, as in bison. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, uh, gesticular's humor knows no bounds indeed. So I will return tomorrow morning uh, with uh, the lovely punchline here, and I will show you just what this wonderful, beautiful, majestic beast will be good for. So until then, I will see you very soon. Good 
morning, good people. Tis I, here with Punchline. Speaking of Punchline, I think I messed up that joke earlier. I do believe it should have gone. Have you heard the one about the three holes filled with water? Well, well, well. <laughs> oh, yes, that is much better if I include water in the joke. I must remember that when I tell this joke in future. Ah, um, it would be good if I turned and did not walk off the cliff. So here we are. I will show you why we needed this incredible punchline. If we are to build or make tools or keep our armor in repair, we will be in high need of metal and stone and flint and these things we can do very well with our dear punchline. So for instance, uh, I got wood, didn't want to kill that tree. But I also got quite a bit of metal. So I got 184 metal. And notice that while Punchline is carrying it, it weighs 23 pounds. But if I carry it, it weighs 92. So it is much lighter on Punchline, which means I can collect much more metal. Oh, come Punchline, move. Let us go. There we are. And I can also collect plenty of stone and flint. And I should be able to collect berries as well. But I'm having a hard time getting that to work. Uh, it worked before, and now it's not. I don't know. In any case, uh, let us see what other metal we can find. I think that Punchline somehow does not like these bushes, but it, it did work once before. Ah, that is how we do. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I think lawnmower will not be needed much anymore. I'm not quite sure how I did that, uh, but you know, I am not a Beastmaster, I am a Court Jester, and not only am I a Court Jester, I am the best Court Jester, the most remarkable coast Court Jester, yes, the best the land has ever seen, or will ever see. At least I must uh, travel the land and uh, prove that to everybody first, but as I come from the great Rancali, and the even greater Incredulo. Or credulo from incredulous then uh, it's impossible me <laughs> uh, my tongue fails me today it is impossible for me to fail for I have great humor coursing through my veins so far be it if I'm not able to harvest a berry I am able to harvest laughter which is certainly much much more important uh, matter of fact, I do believe before we end today. No, get a berry. Get a berry. No, I don't know how to get a berry. Ah, but as I travel about gathering all these treasures, it does remind me of yet one more joke that I can share with you today. And that joke is about a pirate. And here's the question. Why couldn't the pirate sit down? Why, you ask? Pray tell, you say? Well, let me tell you that the pirate could not sit down because someone had stolen his booty! <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, I have to laugh so hard. Oh my goodness, I can hardly drive. Oh, oh yes, someone had stolen his booty. Get it? That's why he couldn't sit down. Oh my, I think uh, that maybe I shall uh, leave you here now. So yes, uh, we have our new punchline who will be helping us as we progress along in this world here, looking for or creating a court in which we can jester. I think in the next episode, however, we shall take to the skies and venture through the lands and find other subjects with whom we can share our humor. Uh, I do hope you've appreciated the joke or two today, and I would like to say, if you like what you've seen here, do hit the like button, and if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and if you'd like to join the fun, then please check out Trigger and Jeff's server, the links are in the down low, and um, there was something else I wanted to say, oh yes, uh, Shirley would surely love to have a comment, so do leave a comment for her, and as always, 
Goodbye, good people. We'll catch you next time. We drop tonight.